Hi, welcome to Rotten Rebel. I'm here with the one and only Sandra Salomar Fragrance. Yes, hi everyone. So it's time for 12 fragrances every man should own. So we did this earlier this year, but this time around we have picked out 12 new ones for you. So this time around I wanted to switch things up a bit and make it easier for you to find different kinds of scents in different kinds of categories. So for example, in our fresh category we have two fresh fragrances we feel every man should own, etc. So without further ado, let's do this. So the first one up is one from the powdery category and if you have seen our previous videos you are not surprised that I'm bringing up powdery fragrances, but you don't have to go all powdery. You can have fragrances that are amazing with just a hint of powderiness. And I dare to say that this one has a hint of powderiness, yes. together with some aromatics and a fresh side that is beautiful. And the one is Armani Code Parfum. This is the latest one from Armani Code in that line. I think it's like a mix of several of the other Code fragrances. It has this freshness, it has the powdery iris, there is something almost green, fresh, citrusy in it. Beautiful one and you need these for those special occasions, the elegant occasions when you are dressed up and you want to feel like a million bucks. This one to me is a fantastic powdery scent, but it's powdery done in a quite a versatile kind of way with a bit of freshness at the top. It has a bit of depth to it. It's absolutely fantastic. And to me, this is a versatile, classy powderiness. And I really enjoy putting this one on together with a more sort of a dressed up outfit. So the next one is the last one in the powder category. And I have one that is a bit powdery, sweet, warm and just wonderful and it's Gentleman from Givenchy and this is the Eau de Parfum. This is the top two or the top three. I think it's an incredible one, it's elegant, it's definitely powdery but this has so much more than that powdery feeling to it. So Gentleman EDP at least to me is quite powdery with a focus on that powdery sort of iris with vanilla. It's warm, it's a bit spicy, it's powdery vanilla and it smells amazing. The EDP compared to Armani's Code Parfum is way more sort of a dense, it's way warmer, way deeper, heavier, and also way more powdery. So if that's something you prefer, go with this one. If you prefer something that is more versatile, not as heavy powdery, with a more prominent fresh side, then Code Parfum is the one to go for. And we have the sweet category coming up. The next one up actually has a ton of notes. No, not a ton of notes, but there are many notes. But this is really mostly about a sweet and warm vanilla. This is beautiful and it's Nishanae's Ani. It also has something woody in it, something green, and that's why I think it's much more interesting than just a good vanilla fragrance. Yeah, Ani to me is really focused on vanilla together with a prominent woody side. It's super strong. I actually featured this in my Strong Fragrances for Men video, which I'll link to above. This one is a head turner. Pretty much everyone who gets a whiff with will enjoy the scent of it. And if you really enjoy the scent of vanilla and think you would enjoy it together with a woody side, then this is definitely one of the best. The next one is one of my favorites from Paco Rabanne. Paco Rabanne makes so many seductive, sweet and sexy fragrances. And this is definitely one of the best and the most seductive ones. So this is sweet. It's fruity, it's a bit floral, it has something green, almost earthy over it, and it is One Million Elixir. There are guys in the comments, and I think also you, mm -hmm. that kind of makes fun of me for saying Elixir. Mm -hmm, How okay. are you supposed to say this? Mm, I think I just say Elixir, and if I want to have fun, I go like Elixir. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I don't know. I, I just say elixir. Yeah, just Come on. Elixir. Yeah. How yeah, can it be go. something no, else? No, I think that sounds fine. <laughs> so, elixir. It has Paco Rabanne sort of a sweetness, sexiness written all over it. It's a sweet, fruity kind of scent with a focus on vanilla and a hint of rose. It's so mass appealing. It's quite seductive. And most guys, but not all, but most guys, I recommend this to end up enjoying it. Yes. And this one definitely pulls in compliments. And now it's time for the fresh and aromatic ones. So the next one is actually not one, it's two. But I had to tell you about them both because one of them 
is really the masses favorite. Almost everyone loves it. And I really love it too, but I think there is a better one. Mm. So the one that almost everyone loves is YSL, Y or the Parfum. But if you are like me, you will enjoy Le Parfum mm. even more. But I couldn't just pick out one because this is fragrances that every man should own. And since I do know that most people actually do love Eau de Parfum more than Le Parfum, I had to bring them both. Mm. So just try it out, see what you like the most. YSL Le Parfum is a bit sweeter and darker to me and that's probably why I prefer that one over the other. Mm. Both are fresh, both are aromatic, so which one is your favorite? Both are extremely mass appealing, but I do prefer the EDP because the EDP to me has this perfect balance of sort of an aromatic kind of freshness, but with a bit of depth and some sweetness to it. This one is crazy versatile. This one pulls in the compliments. It's a mass appealing one and pretty much everyone loves it. Now, Le Parfum is still a fantastic scent. This one pulls in the compliments as well, but this one, at least to me, is a bit warmer, is a bit deeper, is a bit sweeter, a bit more sort of a dense. You really can't go wrong with either, but choose the one that sort of suits your taste and needs. And the next one up is one that I think really is a no-brainer in every man's collection. This really fits anyone. It smells amazing for any occasion. So this is Giorgio Armani's Aqua di Gio and this is Profondo. Mm. So this one is fresh, it's marine, it's a bit like spicy aromatic and it just works for anything. This to me has a bit of that sort of a classic Aqua di Gio marine kind of scent, but it's done in a sort of a more modern way. This is a mass appealing one. You will smell amazing to most people in a fresh way. You really can't go wrong with Profondo. So every man needs a fragrance that makes him smell amazing in warm weather. And not all fragrances can stay on your body in warm weather, and not all of them project like crazy. But one that does, that's an amazing freshie, is Invictus Platinum from Paco Raban. This is amazing. The whiffs you get from this one in warm weather is incredible. It has this citrus touch, it has something aromatic over it, there's something green and it has a note of mint mm. that is fabulous and I know that you are quite a fan of this one and also of mint notes. What I really like about this one is that it's fresh but it's not your typical kind of freshness. Mm. It has something unique aromatic about it, it has that minty side, it has a bit of citrus and some Something else, I don't know what it is, but there's something that makes this a unique kind of freshness. This is a scent that will make you stand out from the crowd in a fresh way. And I think the scent is quite unique and it's definitely a compliment getter. And we have arrived at the woody ones. The next one is one that I wasn't so impressed with when I first tried it. So Parfums de Marley's Haltan. I was very skeptical to this yeah, one. Yeah, you were. She was skeptical and she was like, it's a good scent, but I'm not sure I like it. But then I sort of tricked her. I put it on and just walked around and she went like, oh my God, what's that scent? Yeah. What do you have on? And I was like, I knew it. She's gonna love this one and you did. Yeah, and, and now I'm addicted to it. I can't stop smelling this. This is spicy, it's oody of course. It's a bit, no, it's quite much sweet and it's just a fabulous, very elegant, very sexy kind of yeah. fragrance, very masculine, even though it has a sweet side. This is beautiful. This is oody, woody and sweet in a way that to me is versatile for this kind of scent. And with that, I mean that this is a super mass appealing kind of oody, woody, sweet scent that will appeal to a lot of people. And it's definitely a compliment getter, a fantastic choice. The next one in the woody category is one with sandalwood and there are just no other woody note like sandalwood. It's light, it's creamy, it's beautiful and so fancy and elegant. And the one I have in my hand is Aqua di Parma. This is the Colonia Sandalo. Wow. This is a bit aromatic, it's mostly woody. It doesn't have like soapy notes, but I think there is something yeah. like a hint of soapiness to it. And that's why I think it's so crazy elegant. And this is the fragrance that you can really wear to a date and smell incredible. But why I think you really should have this is that it smells like a gentleman. Yeah. It smells elegant, extremely classy and stylish. So whatever kind of work you are doing, 
when you put this on, you just smell like the perfect, smart, professional, great man. So good. I'm so happy that you picked Aquatic Parma Sandalo because this one to me is super masculine in a witty way. The sandalwood in this scent is fantastic. This is truly masculine, classy woodiness, and I absolutely love it. And if you enjoy woody fragrances with a focus on sandalwood, then you really must make sure you check this one out. And now we are moving into the warm and spicy category. So the next one is actually also two. I kind of cheated all through this yeah. list. I couldn't really pick just 12. But so the thing is that Tom Ford has so many amazing fragrances. So I could have like picked anyone from Tom Ford. But the newest release is the Noir Extreme Parfum. And I absolutely love this one. I think it's the perfect combination between tobacco vanilla, Noir Extreme and something with leather. Mm, yeah. And that smells just amazing. You have the spicy side, you have the sweet side. There is something woody and they have added the most fabulous and very elegant soft kind of leather on top of it. And I do know that not everyone loves leather. So that's why I also brought Tom for Noir Extreme mm. because this is it, they are not exactly the no. same. So it's not like Tom Ford Ex Noir Extreme without leather and with leather, but they do have similarities and they are both really beautiful in the spicy, sweet kind of category. Yeah, both are fantastic scents. And basically Noir Extreme is this warm, amazing, mm. spicy and sweet scent. It's a mass appealing scent that pulls in compliments. Now the new Noir Extreme Parfum has quite a few similarities, but it's way less sweet and it has leathery. In it. So basically, if you want a mass appealing, warm and spicy and sweet scent, go yeah. for Noir Extreme. If you want a bit of that, but in a less sweet way with leather, go for this one. And we really don't have a category for the next ones. They are just amazing. So one of the two amazing ones that really should be in every man's collection. And they should be there because you can use them for any occasion and you will smell way above average. You will smell like excellent, perfect. And the first one is Jean-Paul Gaultier, Le Mal, Le Parfum. Mm. I never ever get tired of this no. one. Sweet, aromatic with vanilla, a bit of powderiness. This is extremely seductive. It's extremely attractive. And I know that you went crazy the first yeah. time you sniffed this. You were yeah. like, I don't know how many times we went to the store. Yeah, I got addicted from the first sniff. I couldn't stop thinking about it until I got it and I still can't stop thinking about it. Yeah. And that's the reason why it's one of my fragrances for life. I'm gonna link to that video above so you can check it out. It's so damn good. It pulls in the compliments. Pretty much everyone loves it. Get it. And we are finishing off with one of the best. And this is an amazing clone of an original that's also amazing. Creed Aventus. Yeah, so you know I'm holding Club de Nuit Intense Man yeah. in my hand. This is something every man should have in his collection because this costs almost nothing. Yeah, super At least cheap. If you compare it to Creed yeah. Aventus. I mean, super cheap. The performance is outstanding. Yeah. And I mean, I have seen women react to this when you had it yeah. on. I mean, if you're only going to have a few fragrances, this should be one of them. Yes, definitely. The opening of the EDT can be a bit too harsh for some people, but the dry down is amazing to most people. The EDP is smoother all around. There is a slight, just a slight difference in the scent, but both smell amazing. Both are amazing clones. Both are quite affordable. And I really feel Every man should at least try one of these. So I wanna know if you tried any of these. How do you feel about them? Put them in the comments. Make sure you drop a like on this video. Thank you, I really do appreciate it. Make sure you head on over to Sandra Slomo Frigas' channel. I'm gonna link to her channel in the description below. Sub to her, sub to me, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.